Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having the best day ever. And if you're not, bitch, there's always tomorrow, okay? As I was ready to do this video, my upstairs neighbor decided that he needed to have his black beat. So he was doing that, but luckily, bitch, he's a one minute man because he didn't last shit, bitch. <laughs> so I was like, okay, girl, I'm, I said, you know what, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until he's finished and then I can make my video, bitch. I waited for 45 seconds. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Bitch, that was so amazing. But anyways, you guys. And you know what? Listen, if you're a one-minute man out there, that's fine, bitch. You got your tongue too, bitch. Okay, you you can do a lot with your mouth. Okay. Girl, this is not the intro I wanted to do for this video. Mm. Does anyone else feel like today's Monday? Anyways, you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sebastian. As you can see, I'm a mess. But I'm your best friend, so that's good, okay? So make sure you hit that subscribe button. You do not want to miss out. And let's get on to this tea, girl, because <sighs> we need to talk. So listen, what is next for James Charles? Let's get serious now, okay? What is next for James Charles? What is next? What is the next level? What What is going to happen to James Charles? Is James Charles going broke. So listen, there's been a lot of talk ever since YouTube demonetized him. And a lot of people are saying, you know, oh, James Charles, you need to save some money. Oh, I hope James Charles, you know, has sister savings. I saw that message. So I was like, yes, but it's not sister savings. You know, what is going to happen with him? First of all, you guys, before even thinking about money or if he is broke or not broke, we need to figure out what's going to happen to him. You know, what's going to happen with him, uh, with, you know, with, with, what's going to happen? Do you know what I mean? Is there anyone going to be pressing charges? Anything like that is going to happen? I have no idea. But listen, since we don't know any of that, let's talk about James Charles's money, okay? Now, listen, I am not Bank of America, bitch. I have no idea. Well, he's bougie. He probably has Wells Fargo. I have, <laughs> girl, there's nothing wrong with Bank of America, bitch. Okay, listen, what is going to happen? Where is he going to get money from? Now, listen, let's say in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a, let's make up a whole new universe, okay? Let's say that James Charles, no one presses any, any charges against him and he's free, right? And he's free from, from all of the victims that have come out. So he's free, right? Let's just say he's free. What, what is he going to do? Well, hopefully he's going to get help, right? But what is he going to do for money? Now, listen, I don't think that there is any business out there who will put their name, their brand with James Charles anymore. I don't think that James Charles will have any sponsorships anymore for for a very long time, maybe even forever. Do you know what I mean? James Charles, let's say now, remember, we're in a universe where nobody's pressed charges. He's a free man, right? In this universe where he is free and, and and hopefully not doing this shit anymore, he's going to find himself with, with what is left. He doesn't have his YouTube channel, right? He doesn't have his sponsorship with Morphe or his partnership. What is there left for him to do? Now, the only thing, I mean, money-wise, I mean, here's the thing. He still has a lot of fans, right? We have to also consider that. He still has a lot of fans. He still has a lot of people who support him. He still has a lot of people who, you know, who who want to bless you. Thank he you. still has a lot of people who want, you know, him to come back. He still has a lot of people who believe in his innocence. So these people who are standing by him now will be with him later on, right? Because if if by now there if, if everything that's come to light and they're still with him, they're going to stick around with him. So these are potential people who will be buying a product that he will sell. Now, there's maybe, um, oh girl, what is that thing called? Not OnlyFans, Patreon. You know, he can maybe do some videos on there and he'll get paid. Um, I mean, I don't see him going the OnlyFans route. Uh, I, you know, it's one of those things where I'm pretty sure he has savings. I think that one thing about James, when he talks about business and stuff, he seems like he knows what he's talking about. He seems that he knows, uh, you know, how to manage money. But again, he just bought this humongous estate 
Um, we don't know that is that paid off. You know what I mean? There's so many different questions that I mean, frankly, it's none of our business. But because we're nosy and you know we're we're, we're on people's you know banks bank accounts, <laughs> you know we're like, girl, what's gonna happen to you? Um, in in a universe where he is a free man and he will be able to work again, I think that maybe YouTube. If nothing happens legally, I do think YouTube will give him his monetization back, which will mean that he will continue to do more videos where he will come back and he will, you know, proceed with his normal videos. But I don't see that happening this year. You know what I mean? But again, James Charles to me seems like he is in his in his mind. He seems to me that he is 100% innocent he believes he is innocent he believes that he has done nothing wrong he believes that everyone is against him and that this was you know that everyone is conspiring is conspiring on against him so i do believe that he feels that he is the victim here so i think with that mentality that's going to make him want make him come back probably even sooner than later so even if maybe we might get a video here and there because now i remember when he posted the um, Morphe statement, I do remember seeing a lot of different comments of people saying, you know, basically like, girl, we're gonna miss you. Um, uh, you know, we're, uh, we support you. We love you. We, we're here for you. You know, he still has his strong fan base. So I'm like, okay, girl, well, listen, if you guys are gonna stick by, by James, then I'm guessing whatever he does in the future, you're gonna support. But Big businesses, sponsorships, brand deals, I don't see that happening ever again for a very long time. Now, if for some odd reason, all of the kids come forward and say, James Charles, we lied to him. This is proof that we lied. We told them we were 18, da, 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 da. Then I'm guessing that is the only way that I think YouTube and Morphe and all these people will come back. But I don't think that's the case. Right, he even said to himself that, he even said in his video that, you know, he thought they were 18 because he told them they were 18, right? But he did, in fact, exchange pictures with what he thought was a person of age and not a minor, right? So I don't know, do you guys think he has a future? Do you think that there is a, a possibility where he can come back from this? Do you think that YouTube will give him another try? Or even more if you will give him another try. Do you think that we live in a world where he can just live a normal life? Let me know in the comments below. You know, this is a very touchy subject. It's a very, it's a subject where, you know, until somebody comes forward and press charges, nothing will affect him. You know what I mean? I mean, yes, of course, he's losing so many brand deals and sponsorships and money. But what's what's next? You know what I mean? So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I love you all so much and I'm very grateful for you. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm almost at 11K. I would be so excited if I got there between today and tomorrow. I have no idea, but I love you guys so much and thank you for watching. Mwah.